Uh, Cristina Metova, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Just a minute. Okay. Sure. You have 15 minutes to <coughs> work. Yeah. All right. Uh, Christina, you can begin, please. I'm sorry? You can begin. Okay. Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, let me introduce our study, bold signal changes in response to pseudo words after giving them semantic meaning in the course of special training. Uh, this is uh, fMRI study. The study was carried out on the National Research Center Kurchatov Institute in cooperation with St. Petersburg State University. To determine the bold signal in response to see the word stimuli in order to show the involuntary attention system activation. As was done in previous electrophysiological studies, uh, a passive multi-stimulus football paradigm specially developed and adapted to fMRI was used. In the course of special training, uh, the meanings of the words of a hypothetical language were assigned to the stimuli. Changes in hemodynamic response parameters resulting from training were analyzed. It was assumed that uh, learning and semantic meaning of the assigned words of the hypothetical language would influence the hemodynamic response change. The fMRI study uh, involved 17 conditionally healthy, well hearing uh, subjects without neurological and mental disease with a uh, leading right hand uh, aged uh, 23 to 35 years, native Russian language speakers. Before the fMRI session, the participants were instructed and written consent was obtained. Uh, scanning was performed on three Tesla magnetic uh, resonance tomograph with a 32 channel uh, head coil. The participant was positioned in the fMRI chamber in the supine position. Uh, the head was fixed with ceiling models uh, for hearing protection, communication with personal and presentation of uh, stimulus material. The non-magnetic headphones were used. The scan option you can see on the slide. Uh, <clears throat> A passive multi-stimulus uh, oddball paradigm, especially developed and adapted uh, to fMRI, was used, as I told. Uh, stimuli were presented in blocks, uh, 22 blocks with deviant 1 and 22 blocks with deviant 2. The block paradigm was used firstly due to the fact uh, of response generation to deviant stimulus that required uh, a relatively short interstimulus interval. And uh, in that case, uh, the possibility of a sensory memory trace uh, formation to the previous stimuli remained. Secondly, it was necessary to maintain the time uh, required for attention of uh, the hemodynamic response to the previous block. So the interval between blocks was 15 seconds. Uh, the block size was uh, 10 and a half seconds. Blocks were presented in a pseudo uh, randomized order. The fMRI session duration was approximately 19 minutes. During the recording uh, process, the participants were instructed to maintain the most calm and relaxed state and carefully look um, at the silent dynamic image on the monitor screen to divert attention from auditory stimuli, which is one of the conditions for applying the passive oddball paradigm. A neutral uh, screensaver uh, was used to the image uh, in which orange circles of various sizes flickered smoothly uh, against the black background. <clears throat> the image uh, from the monitor was pro uh, projected by a system of golden monitor. There was no need to pay attention uh, to the auditory presented stimuli to access possible uh, distortion and association in the perception of stimuli after the study, the participants were interviewed. Um, a, a little bit in, uh, about semantization of uh, pseudo words. <clears throat> after the first fMRI session, participants receive uh, the following homework assignment. 
each was given uh, a um, 14 minutes educational audio recording, um, which had to be listened to twice a day for seven days. In these audio recordings, a few of the words were assigned the meaning of the words of hypothetical language, which differed in the frequency of use. Each few of the words was repeated 45 the hypothetical language word of assigned frequency value. It's important to note um, that it was necessary to set lexical characteristics according to which stimuli would differ. For this purpose, lexical frequency was chosen. The word frequency was determined according to the new frequency dictionary of Russian vocabulary, uh, the frequency dictionary of living Russian speech, and the national corpus of the Russian language. In order to fix uh, the learning outcomes before the second fMRI session, participants were instructed to listen uh, to the audio recordings again um, and then write at least 10 memorized suggested statements. The second fMRI session took place seven days after the first one by the identical procedure. Uh, results. The resulting uh, mapping data were uh, process with uh, the SPM12 uh, software package on the MATLAB platform. The data were analyzed in the, uh, uh, in the event uh, during the fMRI paradigm. It's worth noting to importance of correcting the temporal bias since a significant temporal bias between uh, slices occurs during the functional data uh, collection. Statistical parametric map, uh, maps of the participants' brain activity were constructed uh, by the GLM. Data analysis was carried out in two stages at the first level analysis based on the calculated GLM parameters. The contrast between all types of stimuli, uh, this is uh, standards uh, DEVENT1 and DEVENT2, were calculated separately for each subject. They obtained contrasts uh, representing a linear combination of GLM parameters uh, <clears throat> were uh, subjected uh, at the second level analysis uh, to further statistical group analysis of rare statistical hypothesis. Uh, T-contrast was calculated using the flexible factorial option, which corresponds uh, to a two-way analysis of variance. This is repeti uh, repetition factor and uh, stimulus type factor. Data were statistically compared by the students' t-test. Uh, the SPM uh, anatomy toolbox software package were used to identify brain structure and analyze active clusters. Uh, so <clears throat> significant differences uh, were found in the right temporal gyrus. Figure one shows changes in the hemodyna uh, hemodynamic responses to uh, deviant stimuli detected after training on the right side uh, of the middle and superior temporal gyrus. Before learning, there were no statistically active areas in the right middle temporal gyrus, as you can see on figure uh, 1a. They appeared only after training. Uh, you could see it uh, on figure. 1b. It's clearly seen uh, that after the right in the middle temporal gyrus. There is a significant uh, increase in, in um, the hemodynamic response intensity in the right hemisphere uh, in the superior temporal gyrus. Several small uh, fasci of local activity observed before training uh, at the uh, junction of the visual association and temporal cortex disappear after training. If you compare figure 1a and figure 1b, you can see it. <clears throat> in addition uh, to changes described above, there are differences in hemodynamic response in the left hemisphere. Figure two shows changes in bold signal in response to deviant stimuli detected after training on the left uh, in the temporal plane and in the superior temporal gyrus. Figure two shows that after training, the signal intensity uh, higher in the left temporal plane and uh, in the superior temporal gyrus. Some additional areas of activity 
like Preconius and Angular Gyrus. Um, you can see it on figure 2A, which are observed during the seal the words process and before training, disappear after training. Feature uh, 2B. The hemodynamic response to semanticized seal the words is enhanced and concentrated in speech area. Uh, so it was shown that uh, the response to DRN stimuli after training differed significantly from response observed before training, especially noticeable changes associ associated with the uh, increase in hemodynamic response were noted in the right temporal regions, figure one. Uh, before learning, uh, there were no statistically uh, active areas in the right middle temporal Training. After training in the right superior temporal gyrus, a much more intense increase in hemodynamic response was observed in comparison with the results obtained before training. The observed bold response to see the words uh, was much stronger than uh, to the same stimuli before training. The right-sided activation on temporal areas uh, when using the ball paradigm was associated uh, with the involuntary attention activation mechanisms and was well reflected in auditory event-related potential by the mismatch negativity um, appearance. Previously, it was shown that uh, mismatch negativity parameters differed markedly when presented as deviant stimuli with word, words and sealed words, as well as in the case of using words of different fragrances. Moreover, if we use the semantization procedure, assign uh, sealed words the meaning of the word of and after training, a pronounced change um, in mismatch negativity was observed an increase in amplitude and uh, decrease in the peak of latency occurred. And these changes were much more pronounced for high frequency words. Our data uh, also showed an increase in response in the temporal areas of the right hemisphere. It can be concluded that after uh, acquiring a semantic meaning, see the words caused a significantly uh, greater activation of the involuntary attention mechanisms in the ball paradigm. The marked changes uh, in hemodynamic response were all uh, the more uh, interesting given the moderate level of training and the short duration of training procedure. Also, it was found that after see the words acquired the meanings of the certain hypothetical language uh, words, changes were observed in the left hemisphere speech related region. Noticeable differences uh, were lo localized in the temporal plan and in the superior temporal gyrus. First, uh, there was an increase in the reaction intensity. Uh, the hemodynamic response after training was shown to be enhanced in the temporal plan and in the superior temporal gyrus on the left hemisphere. And secondly, there was a uh, change in the activated area distribution and uh, some um, minor foci of local activity disappeared. There was an increase and in concentration of the hemodynamic response in the speech related region. It can be concluded that the stimuli semantization leads to certain changes in the functioning of speech related region in the temporal cortex. This observation significantly complements the results obtained early in the study of semantization effect of auditory event-related potential and um, mismatch negativity of the auditory um, ERP method in this situation is less sensitive. The data uh, obtained uh, show that after the pseudo word semantization, the significant differences in bold signal are found not only on the right in the areas, but uh, we associate with the attention mechanism activation, but also on the left in the classical speech areas. An increase in hemodynamic response intensity is observed on the left in the temporal plan and in the superior temporal gyrus. Thank you for your attention. And I'm ready <clears throat> to ask your question, um, to answer your question. Uh, thank you, Christina. Uh, now we will proceed with the question. 
Uh, are there questions? Please raise your hand. Question. Okay, I'm Felix and I have a question. Uh, Christina, um, yes. your experiments, uh, or rather from your experience or your experiments, uh, can you conclude something about a circuit uh, for for your about what uh, I uh, didn't hear? Thank you. Sorry. Could you repeat, please? Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, I want to know if, uh, from your experiments, uh, you can um, conclude a circuit uh, mm -hmm. or something like that. Conclude about what? I'm sorry. A circuit, uh, a, 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 a way the input uh, is processing or is processed from all the brain areas areas uh, you describe in your in your presentation. Uh, <clears throat> we uh, found that. Uh, um, area that um, areas that um, uh, um, that uh, could be involved in uh, involuntary attention uh, appears like um, in ERP methods uh, in fMRI. Uh, it's uh, right-sided uh, temporal areas. And second, uh, we um, found uh, that uh, special speech uh, regions uh, <clears throat> activated uh, when uh, our pseudo words uh, 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 get uh, uh, meaning. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Christina, for your participation. Thank you. Um,